Hey, how you doing? This is my 2018 Ram 3500 Dually. I'm now building and shipping enclosures. Uh, let me show you the enclosure I have made for this. These are American Best 8s. They have a displacement of 0 0.08. So when you do four times 0 0.08, you at 0.32. Uh, this enclosure with these subs in, uh, it's point, 2.5 net at the sub and port displacement. The port is a six inch PVC pipe, aero design. I have it flared. It is exactly 48.75 inches long, uh, 14 and a quarter inches high, and 11 inches deep. It does not enable the seat to roll back. Uh, why? Because it's necessary to get that volume uh, with the enclosure. I do build enclosures that can fit in this space. You will not be able to let your seat back uh, because you need that volume. And uh, my enclosures are not custom in that they will fit in a particular place and sound like garbage. They're custom in that they're designed for the sub first. So there's plenty of videos on my channel where you see I have two eights, uh, two tens, one ten, various, various different effects. Uh, output i run it off a uh, false gate 1500 bdcp uh, the video with the uh, last video i had with these four playing i had it at two ohms low so because it's dual four and i got four so the lowest i can go is two ohm so they're getting uh at the box rise i mean at the impedance rise they might be getting i don't know a thousand watts so that's 250 each uh you always got to fight impedance rise when you have any amplifier so false gates play give you roughly the same power at one ohm and two ohm but you still gonna have impedance rise so you're gonna have some losses there but i can in this space here i can go high i can give you a slant box uh, i'm only gonna build an enclosure if the enclosure that you request with the subs you request have enough air space for the sub to perform admirably with a port uh well if you ask for a seal design i give you that too uh, i can build a wedge if that's what you want don't want the subs facing up but you want the subs facing into the seat which will you will lose output that way it's best to have the subs facing up so with the subs facing up you can do eights you can do four eights uh i think you can even do i bring I, mm, it's possible maybe to do five uh because with the port being six inches you have to have that much volume before you hit the wall. It makes no sense to have a six inch aerial port and it's jammed up against the wall here. You will get no output. I can uh, do a slot, which your port to be right there in the middle between those two subs, which eliminates you being able to do a five eights. You can do two tens. Uh, if you go higher, make a wedge enclosure with the subs facing toward the seat and the port out to the side, uh, you could do possibly three tens. Uh, you could do two twelves. It all depends on what the displacement of the subwoofer and the needed air space. Because once I put the subs in and put the port in, if you don't have what's necessary enough over, left over for the subs to perform, I would not build an enclosure. I don't build custom enclosures just to... So you can say, I got four tens back there. Or I got four twelves or whatever, what have you, ten eights, and it's not going to perform correctly. Uh, I'm, I'm, my custom is built to specs, which means I'm the building the enclosure for the performance of the sub. Uh, so and I can get any tuning you want with that six inch uh, arrow. Sometimes I might be able to use a eight inch if you go high. Uh, and more volume, it all depends on what you got, but I can make the space fit back here for most subwoofers. Uh, get at me, shoot me a message in the bottom. I am building several for people. I have one on deck here <laughs> that's going out to a customer, but uh, just get at me, man.